Hello, I want to spend some time today going through a quick demo of an application I created that lets you define warehouse locations. Just locating an asset to a particular warehouse or stock room doesn't cut it, but you have to know where within the warehouse that is. It's especially important for larger warehouses where you have multiple aisles and racks within the aisles. If you go to Studio, uh, inside Studio, it's called Warehouse Management 1.0. And the basis of it is really a bunch of tables that give you a hierarchy. So from the warehouse, which is an address, we go down to an aisle within the warehouse. And then within the aisle, there's levels. So you can go down aisle two and you're on the second level or third level of aisle two. And then within those levels in the aisles, there's these bins, which assets are in a certain bin if you look at the bin. And that's what this app does for us. I did favorite that so I, I favored the warehouse management application which is what I developed in studio and we'll go through and just define a warehouse and take a look at that so if I go into a warehouse and I want to go ahead and click new and this is just a regular location so it's pretty much I want to define a new warehouse and I'll put uh, I'll just do a NorCal warehouse and I'll say this is going to be a million square feet and then you can go ahead and define the city and state just like you would any other location. It's just that this is in a different table. This is in a warehouse table. Okay, so once I go ahead and save that, it's going to let me create some inside of the uh, warehouses themselves. I'm going to be able to go ahead and create aisles within the warehouse. So let's say aisle one now belongs in the NorCal warehouse. When I save that, you'll go ahead and see that it says aisle one is the actual full name of that aisle. The next thing within aisle one, I can now come down and I could say what levels are in. Let's just say for now they have two levels. Let's do level one within aisle one. And then let's also create a level two within aisle one. Right, now I have two levels in there. Now, if I want to go on one of these levels, this is where I would actually put bins. So in level one, let's say we have three bins just in level one of aisle one. So I'll just here, I'll just give it a number. So it's going to be uh, bin one, bin two, and then bin three. Really simple. We'll just keep it that way for now, just so you can see. Right, so now within these bins is where we're going to put our assets. And so now we can go ahead and we want to look at our assets in there. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go up and let's just go pick an asset that I already have. And we're going to, we're going to put that at NorCal and we're going to put that in one of our bins. All right, so if I just go ahead and click on inventory, let me just take something that's in inventory. So I'll say something in stock. And we're going to take that stock item. Uh, so let me go ahead and just pick this DC inverter for now. Now this DC inverter would be in our, um, the stock room is, it is really irrelevant here, but we could connect it to the stock room later. But what we want, really want to do is change this location here and we want to change it to, to NorCal. Okay, so if, if I go in, now we should see a hierarchy here for NorCal. So if I scroll down and I find my NorCal location, you'll see we only have that one aisle that we developed in there. So it's NorCal aisle one. And then level two, we didn't put any bins in, so it doesn't have a separator. But I'll say level one, and we're gonna put this in bin three on level one. What I could do now with bin three is I would be able to go and I would see bin three is in the NorCal warehouse. It's on aisle one and then it's on level one in bin three. So that gives me an exact warehouse location for this asset so that I can go pick that asset or if I'm stocking it, I could do the same thing. Now, one of the things we can do with this, this bin three as well is I'd be able to come down here. So if I'm scanning assets into bin three, what I'd be able to do is go ahead and develop a QR code off of this page. So um, we can do that here. If I right click with Google, I can create a QR code and that will map me right to this URL. And that QR code can now be used to navigate right to this page. So if I'm scanning in assets like this DC inverter, I can scan them in one after another and they would land right inside that bin. So I'd have an exact warehouse location. 
That's it. That's a quick demo. I'm going to package this application up so that people can use it and uh, hopefully somebody finds it useful. Thank you very much.